Hello and welcome to another episode of the Prime 50 TV show. I'm Chris and I'm here with Dr Max. Good to see you Chris. How are you doing? Very good. So this week we're going to pick up again on fighting fatigue and in particular uh, go into a bit more detail about the nutritional deficiencies in which people suffer with and how fighting fatigue helps those. Yeah, absolutely. Um, most people really don't know how deficient they are. And by deficient I mean not getting the RDA, the recommended daily allowance. This is the kind of target which we should be aiming for on a, on a daily basis for every single micronutrient, vitamins and minerals. Um, being a scientific type, um, I don't believe Google, I don't believe the daily rag. I have to go right back to the basic data that is across the world in terms of nutrient deficiencies. Uh, and then I formulated the product to take account of those and a lot more as you'll hear later. But basically what happens is uh, dietitians, scientists, whatever, go into people's homes. They tell those people to weigh their food over a, a three or four day period. They show them how to do it fill in food diaries, it all goes back to the lab, it's done on two or three thousand people across the UK and indeed the world. The scientists crunch the data and they can work out how deficient we are in certain minerals and vitamins. And that's the data that I've looked at um, and I can tell you with 100% confidence we are nearly all missing out on the RDA, we are all deficient in some minerals or vitamins and that potentially is going to lead to you know, poor health later in life if we don't have that, uh, my, th those micronutrients in our food and our supplements. So why fighting fatigue? What did you see that enabled you, that made you want to create the product? Right. Um, staying active, having a little bit of exercise in our lives as we get older is so, so important. The old phrase, you know, move it or lose it, is 100% true. And one of the problems is as we get a little bit older, we start to slow down a little bit, metabolism starts to slow down a little bit, our muscle mass reduces a little bit. It's called sarcopenia, which is loss of muscle with age. It's not a disease, it's just normal aging. And that all gives rise to you know, us burning less energy. Um, and we can feel a little bit tired as a result of that. Um, if you take the sarcopenia, I mean, to me, sarcopenia is one of the biggest problems we have as we age. Uh, this is all about losing muscle about one or two percent per annum, uh, and it speeds up to three or four percent per annum as we get older and older. Um, and it's essential to exercise, otherwise our muscle mass will deteriorate much, much quicker, and therefore, we, you know, we can enter frailty far too early in life. So the fighting fatigue product is one of the four products to look after what we call musculoskeletal health. That's our muscle, our bone, our joints, but also we need energy to keep us going. And if we're missing out some of these key micronutrients I just talked about in terms of deficiencies, we are likely to be uh, low in energy through the day. Okay, well, before we get, just go into the ingredients, a question that we we're getting asked is, why not just take a multivitamin? Yeah, I mean, I have nothing against multivits. They're fine for topping up a little bit of this, that, and the other. Um, the beauty about the Prime 50 products, and I have to say that Prime 50 is the only brand 100% focused on the over 50, 60, 70s, and beyond in terms of their nutrition. The beauty about Prime 50 is that we have decided to target certain areas. So these are not just multivits, though there are lots of vitamins and minerals yep. within. We're really trying to target fatigue. Another product is targeting bone health, osteoporosis. Another is targeting muscle health. Another is targeting heart and blood and vision, etc. So we have a rather large range but none of them are what I would call classic multivits. They are all targeted specifically to look after that area. And the reason we did it that way was because we've got a much better chart. We will end up with a much better, more efficacious product, and therefore the customer will be happier. So uh, something else we keep getting asked is, even though you've looked at the data for over 50s and, and these these target the over 50s, younger people can take them, can't they? Because yes. they're with the same. Yes, that's right. You know, I have a lot of customers write to me, you know, I'm 35, I'm 40, can I take it? Because, you know, we, we, we've seen you on television or we've looked at the website. Um, and, you know, I've got some very young people taking them. And I think the reason they're taking them is that they appreciate the quality and the science uh, and the thinking, I think, that's gone into each of the products. So yep. there's absolutely no problem there. 
because I've known you for a few months now and I'm 35 and I'm taking them now yeah, to, to help. So um, let's go through the ingredients. Okay. Um, so what, what, what have you placed into these? Yes, I mean, classically, I think most people have heard of the B vitamins and some people have heard of B vitamin complex, which is just uh, a term for a collection of B vitamins. There are many B vitamins, B1, 2, 3, uh, 6, 9, 12, uh, etc. Uh, so what we've got, first of all, is a B vitamin complex to make sure that we've, they, that, that we've got every single vitamin needed to help us fight against tiredness. And all of these health claims, let me tell you a little bit about that. To put a health claim on a pack, uh, it, has to be, it has to go through a very uh, careful uh, bit of legislation, a channel. Um, not anyone can put any old uh, health claim on a pack, so it's tightly um, regulated. So each of the health claims, and I, I, I'm talking about the reduce, reduction of tiredness, is on the pack as well because of the vitamins and minerals that we're using. So the B vitamin complex is uh, well known to most people. Um, we also have vitamin C. You think, well, surely C is just for immunity. Well, it is, uh, but also it helps iron absorption. We need iron. Um, we should get iron from our diet. But we have some iron in here as well. Not a high amount, because only GPs should be prescribing iron tablets, because uh, they can be you know, toxic at very high dose. Yep, yep. We've got just the right amount of iron. But vitamin C is in there to help the iron absorb. And iron is needed for uh, red blood cell formation, and it's needed for he hemoglobin, which carries oxygen around the body. We have vitamin D in there. You think, well, what's vitamin D got to do with energy? Not a great deal. But one of the things that Prime 50 has, in addition to, well, over and above any other product, is that we've got a healthy aging blend of target micronutrients. These are micronutrients which I've decided we need, based on the data I just talked about in the nutrition studies, um, to make sure that we can fight against the aging process. Vitamin D, we know 95% of us are not getting enough vitamin D from our food. Yes, you can walk out and get a little bit of vitamin D from sunlight. The sun goes onto the skin. It synthesizes or makes um, vitamin uh, D from cholesterol on the skin. Uh, but you need quite a lot of sunlight, and nobody wants to expose themselves to too much sunlight for obvious reasons. So we've got vitamin D in there to look after immunity, to look after our muscle strength. And also, unlike any other supplement that I've seen so far, we have a health claim which says vitamin D at this level will help prevent falls in the over 60s. Okay, now that is a powerful health claim. I was going to say, that's, that's quite a claim, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, because as we get older, whether we like it or not, we, you know, we lose a little bit of fast twitch muscle fibers. We can lose our balance a little bit. Nobody wants to trip and break a hip because you know, it's, a, it's a vicious spiral downwards yeah, um, yeah, yeah. if we do that later in life. So we have D in there at the right level uh, to help with, with, with that muscle health and also the, uh, the protection. We also have zinc and magnesium also designed to look after muscle strength. Um, we also have antioxidants, grapeseed extract, but also vitamin E and selenium, very, very important micronutrients. And they are antioxidants. They fight against what's called oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is just the technical term for uh, inflammation, really. You know, our, our cells are currently being bombarded by uh, free radicals. These are very active uh, chemicals, bad chemicals that are generated as part of the metabolism, part of the energy process. And therefore, we've included these antioxidants to try and help the cells fight against this oxidative attack. And then, of course, we have good old coenzyme Q10. Now, the people who do take quite a lot of supplements will be aware of CoQ10 yeah. as a very, very important uh, energy supplement. Basically, uh, in all our cells, we have uh, little organelles called mitochondria. These are the energy-producing factories of the cells. Um, and as part of the energy production process, uh, you need CoQ10, coenzyme Q10. As we get older, unfortunately, we don't generate enough, and therefore we have CoQ10 in here to try and keep the level of CoQ10 up in the aging process. There's two other things I have to talk about, although there are many more. Um, <laughs> The other one is a, a very interesting material called bioparin. That's the trademark for an extract of black pepper. So it's a nice natural compound. And this material is found not only in the Prime 50 product, but it's found across the whole Prime 50 range of products. 
Um, and this material actually helps the aging gut better absorb vitamins and minerals. The aging gut doesn't absorb micronutrients particularly well, unfortunately. Bioparin helps. So it means that we're actually going to be using the micronutrients rather than letting them pass through the body. Um, and the final thing for absorption are bisglycinates. Again, it sounds a bit technical, but the bisglycinates are, are a very clever way of trying to get minerals, which is pretty slow to dissolve, very quickly into the bloodstream. It's a very nice organic form of the minerals. Um, so the, the fighting fatigue supplement is really packed out. It really is. And there are other micronutrients I haven't even mentioned. You know, things like folic acid and, and B6, anthenic acid, etc. Um, folic acid, B6 and B12, I just have to quickly say that that is what I call the trio of yep. B vitamins. Um, as we get older, the aging blood, unfortunately, uh, you get a, a substance building up in the blood called homocysteine. Again, it's a bit technical, but people should know about it because a lot of people are starting to get homocysteine tests at home now. Homocysteine is a very nasty toxic material which builds up in the bloodstream. And we know that high homocysteine is associated with heart disease and also potentially brain problems, cognition problems later in life. In order to keep homocysteine down, that, that trio of B vitamins, B6, 12 and folic acid, uh, have been formulated into the product to try again to fight against homocysteine. So we've tried to think of everything involved in the aging process. And these also have uh, your healthy aging blend in it, don't they? Yes, I mean we've just patented uh, a healthy aging blend and without getting into great detail, um, one of the things I wanted to do was for every customer that takes any of our targeted products, I wanted to make sure that we help them look after their aging in, in a general basis. So there are certain micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, that I've added to every single Prime 50 product. Um, I've already mentioned some of them, like folic acid, B6, B12, but we have other things in there, like, like chromium, for example. Now, chromium's got nothing to do with energy, but I wanted to put chromium in because I know that chromium is really needed um, to, uh, to, to help with sugar management. Um, now, it isn't going to cure diabetes, obviously. There's no claim for that. But, you know, low chromium is associated with poor sugar management. We don't want poor sugar management because yeah. we know that that can lead to insulin problems, insulin resistance, diabetes, etc. So we've decided to put chromium into every single product. We have antioxidants in every single product because the aging process is oxidative. Cells get oxidized, they get attacked. So if we can put these materials in here, which fight against this oxidative stress or antioxidants, then that has to be a good thing. So <laughs> we get a few questions coming in. Um, with how much is in here, do they need to take your other supplements? Can they take your other supplements? That's a great question. Uh, I get a pile of emails uh, on a daily basis, or we get a pile of emails on a daily basis asking that exact question. I'm taking Pry 50 Strong Bones, can I take Fighting Fatigue? I'm taking Fighting Fatigue, can I take Pry 50 Eye Health and Vision? The answer usually is yes. Typically, you can take three to four Pry 50 products perfectly safely. And le let me tell people why that is. Um, there is an upper limit set, a safety limit set for all micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. And what I've done is during the formulation of all of the products, I've taken into account what happens if somebody takes three or four products, because okay. a lot of customers will. And I can tell you with certainty that they will still be below the upper lifetime safety limit, even if they take three or four of the Prime 50 products. Okay, so they're safe to take three or four products yes. all at once. Men, both for men and women? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Um, you know, our metabolism is virtually identical between men and women. I, th I personally believe there are much bigger changes between young and old, and therefore that's why I've decided to look after over 50s nutrition. Yep. You know, we've already yeah. talked about the aging gut not being efficient. We've talked about vitamin D from skin, uh, from sunlight, sorry. Uh, we're not very good at, at making vitamin D as we get older. You know, I make about... Uh, a quarter as much vitamin D uh, as a 25 year old. Um, so everything starts, to, unfortunately, to slow down a little bit, become less efficient. And also we're not getting enough on our food. I keep saying that. And therefore, this is why I strongly believe that 
um, the over 50s and beyond do need to supplement. I, I, I presented on this at the GP conference a few months ago um, about how deficient people were as they got older. And the GPs came up to me afterwards. And they were horrified. They, they didn't realize you know, how deficient we were. So I educated a few hundred people there, but I'd like to educate a few million people. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're, we're almost running out of time, but one quick question which keeps coming in, which I think we really need to pick up on, is can they be taken with other medication? That's a very good question. Again, I get a lot of emails about that. The answer is yes, um, and I'll tell you why. Um, first of all, there are no megadoses. Um, some supplements have come under the spotlight because you know that people are buying too much iron or too much selenium, and they can go into some health shops and buy pure iron, pure selenium tablets. I'm not a lover of that because too much of a good thing can be toxic. So I've avoided megadoses. Secondly, I've avoided herbals. Really, I've got nothing against herbals, herbal products, but there are certain herbal products, things like St John's Wort, Delirium, and a few others that can interact with certain medications. So I've avoided those. I've only used micronutrients that have a very long history uh, and a good track record. I've also studied a whole stack of scientific papers where we've looked at interactions of uh, meds with uh, vitamins and minerals. So I've taken all that into account. It's always best to check with your GP, of course, especially yes, yeah. if you're on polypharmacy, which is more than five meds. Uh, and a lot of people are, you know, it's, it's quite a lot of uh, people are on, on medication and, and a lot are on polypharmacy. Um, but no, generally speaking, it's perfectly safe to take with medication. If they've got any more questions, they can ask you, can they? They can message in. Uh, yeah, and inquiries. Yeah. Inquiries at Prime 50. No inquiries at Prime 50. If you do have any comments on this video, please do put the comments in and we will try and respond to as many people as we can. And as I said, if you do want to message us in confidence, then you can send an email into uh, inquiries at prime50.co.uk um, or you can send a direct message across on Facebook. Um, that is all we have time for this week. It's been a pleasure speaking to you again. Thank you so much. Uh, we will be back next week with another TV show. So... From me and Max, we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.